This episode of Techno Buffalo is brought to you by Netflix. What's up, everybody? Ashley Esqueda from TechnoBuffalo.com here. John is obviously on vacation. He's gone. He's laying by a beach somewhere, which leaves me to do Redinger's rants. I hope I can rant. Okay, so I thought long and hard about this, and I think that I've come to a really good rant. I get irritated by people who decide to judge things like hardware, software experiences by their beta. Now, of course, you could assume that I'm talking about iOS 7 by talking about this, but I'm not just talking about iOS 7. This is across the board. I always see people playing betas of MMOs or games and complaining that the product is not what they were expecting. Of course, it's not what you're expecting. It's a beta. It's not a finished product. And also, even hardware is now becoming a victim of this weird beta bullying. People were paying $1,500 for Google Glass. Now, the problem with that is, is not only are you paying $1,500 to participate in a beta, you're doing so, A, voluntarily, and B, you know it's a beta. So why go out there and trash a hardware product, especially something as cool and innovative as Google Glass, when you know it's not finished. This is the kind of thing that makes me crazy in technology. Over the last couple years, we have seen more and more people take to the internet to complain about products that haven't officially been released yet. Of course, they're not finished. They're not meant for a day-to-day consumer. These are products that are meant to be tested. These are things that you should be writing bug reports about. If you're gonna beta test a game, a piece of hardware or software, You should be bug testing. You should be writing reports. You should be helping the developers and engineers make the best product possible so that when it does come out, all the consumers that you know are happy with that product. So if you ever get invited to a beta, whether it's for a piece of hardware, a Kickstarter, something like the Ouya, I think if you're a backer, you're still kind of getting a beta product. So it's not officially released to the public as of yet. Well, technically this week it is officially released to the public. But before then, you got to treat things like a beta and take care of your technology. Take care of the things that you're backing. Take care of the things that you want to see be great by giving great feedback, by writing measured responses or disagreements to the way things are designed. I know a lot of you out there are not super thrilled about the new design of iOS 7, to which I can only say, that's okay. That's your right as a consumer. But you have to talk about it intelligently And if you're involved in that beta, you have to make an effort to let those engineers know what doesn't work for you specifically. Not just to say, I hate this, LOL, it's crap. Because that is not your job as a tech lover. You and I know that we're at the forefront. And so it's your job to make everything great for all the people around you. And also, if you make it good during the beta, maybe they won't come to you for help when it breaks. I'm not gonna take a second from all of this ranting because it is exhausting to thank our sponsors, Netflix. Netflix is an amazing service that allows you to stream television shows and movies directly to your home, saving you time, money, and hassle. So as a Netflix member, you can instantly watch television episodes and movies streaming directly to your PC, Mac, or right to your TV with an Xbox 360, a PS3, a Nintendo Wii console, an Apple TV, Roku 3, all kinds of things offer Netflix. You can watch as many movies as you want, anytime you want. You can cancel anytime. You get a 30-day free trial membership if you go to netflix.com slash buffalo and sign up now. So be sure to use netflix.com slash buffalo so that they know that we sent you. That's it for Redinger's rants. I know I'm not a Redinger technically. I'm a not John. You can call me not John in the comments. But I'm really curious as to what you guys think. Does it make you crazy to see people reviewing iOS 7 or reviewing Google Glass before it's been officially released? Tell me in the comments. I want to know. I want to hear from you. And uh, get ranty with it because that's what this is all about. That's what Redinger's rants is all about. I uh, I will let John take this show over happily again next week because, well, John and you guys have a special connection. But I've had a great time. And that's it for Redinger's Rants. You can catch us every week on Wednesday with a new rant about consumer technology. See you next time. <laughs>